Yeah, when you look at the results, uh, you realise just how divided uh, Poland is in many regards. Uh, Rosie, let me just talk you through those results. These are uh, preliminary results, it must be said, from uh, the Electoral uh, Commission, saying that uh, Andrzej Duda got 51.21% of the vote, whereas uh, Truskowski got 48.79%. Now, turnout, um, as we expected, was very, very high at some 68.12%. Uh, well, the Electoral Commission this morning is saying that it is now uh, a essentially practically impossible uh, for Truskowski to win uh, this election. Now, that's not to say uh, that it is possible that these results may well be uh, disputed, given how close it still remains. Um, we know that there have been reports of uh, trouble with people having to vote in countries, particularly outside of Poland. Polish people uh, are allowed to vote in presidential elections if they live outside of the country. And it is possible, we don't know yet, but it is possible that Truskowski may well uh, decide uh, to challenge uh, this result. Uh, but you're right in pointing out, either way, it is very close and it is a sign uh, just of how divided uh, Poland is along, it must be said, you know, lines that we've seen elsewhere in Europe between a candidate that presented a socially conservative of agenda in President Duda, uh, someone who uh, wanted to see continuing high welfare uh, spending uh, against someone who was very much a liberal, a pro-European in Truskowski, someone who campaigned to say that he wanted to unite Poland and also that he wanted to respect the rights of minorities, particularly the gay community, who, it must be said, have been a focus in this election, given attacks from the Law and Justice Party and, indeed, it must be said, from President Duda himself.